Y'all remember when Diddy smacked Drake in 2014 at a club in Miami? I don't think Drake really ever got over that. Like, what made you put hands on Drake? Um, I did not put hands on Drake. Oh. And I do not want any problems with Drake. Drake is, right now, <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> that's all I, I have to say. He's putting in his work. I didn't, put, I didn't do nothing to Drake. We not, Drake is my friend. Drake and Kendrick Lamar have been going at it for a while. But this week, Kendrick turned up the heat with his track, Euphoria, which is basically a lyrical beatdown aimed straight at Drake's character. Seriously, every line in that track is pure gold, and I don't even see how Drake can respond to this. But let's zoom in on one particular jab that's got everyone talking. Kendrick's mention of Diddy's infamous slap on Drake back in 2014. So, the official story was that Diddy slapped Drake over some song disagreement. But the streets are now buzzing with a different tale. According to The Grapevine, the real reason behind Diddy's slap might have been a bit more personal. Rumor has it that Diddy wasn't too thrilled about Drake dissing his rumored boy toy Meek Mill during their well-publicized feud. Allegedly, Diddy had a soft spot for Meek, and Drake's disses didn't sit well with him. But wait, there's more. Some insiders are whispering that this whole ordeal wasn't just about music. It was allegedly a full-blown love triangle. Kendrick's not-so-subtle hint in Euphoria about Drake swinging for the other team has tongues wagging even more. So, what exactly did Kendrick spill about Drake and Diddy's relationship, and was that slap really a lover's quarrel? Let's break it down. So, let's begin with the timeline of Drake and Diddy's falling out, because rumors are now going around that these two were more than friends at one point, and allegedly, that's the reason Drake doesn't even want to touch the topic of Diddy in public anymore. Let's take it back to December 2014, when Twitter went wild with unexpected gossip courtesy of Charlemagne the God and DJ Sam Sneak. They spilled the beans that Drake and Diddy got into a brawl at Club LIV in Miami during DJ Khaled's birthday bash. According to Charlemagne, Diddy either slapped or punched Drake. So there was no footage of this based on people that I've spoken to close to the situation. Uh, Diddy really did punch Drake in the face. Oh, I got that call four o'clock in the morning. Right. I was laying in my bed and, and, and my phone kept ringing. I'm like, why my phone keep ringing at four o'clock in the morning? So I go to look at my phone and I say, it's my dude. Like, my dude. And they ain't, you know, he ain't no just random guy in the club. This is somebody that everybody knows. Right. He's like, boy, you wouldn't just believe what happened. I'm like, what? Uh, did he just slap Drake? Like, where? At? Slapped or pushed? I heard a slap. He slapped Drake. He was like behind the scenes at, I mean, behind the, behind, behind Club Live. I said, like at the, at the back entry, back door. I'm like, get the f out of here. You call, you, you. But I knew it was real because it was 4 o'clock in the morning. But you know, everybody know I'd be up because I got to, you know, go to the breakfast club in the morning. But lo and behold, it turned out that it was, it was true. He claimed that Drake ended up in the hospital with a dislocated shoulder, which TMZ later confirmed. Despite rumors flying around it being over Cassie, Sneak insisted that that wasn't the case. Now, jump ahead to December 2014, and suddenly there's footage popping up everywhere of Diddy throwing shade at Drake, accusing him of stealing the beat for the hit track, Zero to 100. Tams obtained video of Diddy performing in a show, and he was heard telling the crowd, I gave this beat to this and, and this and stole this, before he played Zero to 100. I'm gonna play this next beat, I gave it to this stole it from me, play that being on some chill. Fuel zero to 100, real quick. Why, that's Drake's hit song, Zero to 100. And that's Diddy at a concert back in June saying it was stolen. Here's the kicker. Diddy claimed he handed the production over to Drake, but he also accused Drake of swiping the beat. Anyway, things escalated to a physical showdown between Drake and Diddy over this drama, supposedly leaving Drake with a banged up shoulder. By the way, Zero to 100 ended up scoring a Grammy nomination for Best Rap Performance, so you could imagine how that might have stirred the pot even more. At first, both Diddy and Drake stayed silent on social media, but then Drake hopped on Instagram to share a photo of himself in a robe with the caption, they're either talking about you or stealing this you're talking about. Either way, the name been poppin'. But then this photo surfaced of Drake seemingly sporting a black eye, and some sources claimed that this was Diddy's handiwork. Meanwhile, Rap A Lot CEO Jay Prince decided to hop into the conversation to have Drake's back, 
and he dropped this bizarre diss track directed at Diddy, saying Diddy crossed the line by putting his hands on Drake because Drake is family. We get from Puffy and Suge is on my radar. First of all, Puffy, feeling like he can put his hands on my family, open the doors for his family to be touched. You reap what you sow. Here's the twist. Fast forward to May 2015, and TMZ drops a bombshell. They report that Drake and Diddy buried the hatchet with a phone call. According to TMZ, the two had a heart-to-heart -heart and decided to squash their beef. We dip from Puffy and Suge is on my radar. First of all, Puffy, feeling like he can put his hands on my family, open the doors for his family to be touched. You reap what you sow. Historically, we've heard about you putting hands on people. Mm -hmm. Like, what made you put hands on Drake? Um, I did not put hands on Drake. Oh. And I do not want any problems with Drake. Drake is, right now, <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> that's all I, I have to say. He's putting in his work. I didn't, put, I didn't do nothing to Drake. We're not, Drake is my friend. What happened to the That was a total <laughs> rumor. Yeah, what happened to the beat, the zero to a hundred? They said that was your record at first. Is that even true for that? Even, even there was a clip of you at a Yeah, 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 yeah. There was a, um, zero to a hundred was initially a record that, um, you know, it was my record, and then you know, there somehow that became you know just a, a misunderstanding because we was working with the same producers. Honestly, it was a misunderstanding. Honestly, um, Drake is actually my favorite rapper. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as a lot of as far as songwriting and now. But then Diddy brought up Meek Mill, who was beefing with Drake at the time, and in hindsight, fans are wondering if Diddy slapping Drake had something to do with Drake dissing Meek. That for a couple of years, Meek is my boy, and you know, at the end of the day. When it comes, um, like, you know, when it comes to the situation, you know, it's, it's all about the lyrics and everything. But it wasn't, it wasn't anything that, um, that was really that big of a A Diddy. For instance, when Drake mentions Diddy's take that, take that line, Certain is just too wild to reconcile slash take that. Take that slash no love in their heart. So they think that slash DiCaprio level the way they play that, damn, in, what is that? There's also a nod to Diddy's debut album, No Way Out, where Drake mimics Diddy's laugh from Can't Nobody Hold Me Down. Even had the OGs trying to press me, ha ha slash no way out cause I'm already in it. But despite these direct shots, Diddy decided to stay silent and not respond. Then, on August 23, 2016, Diddy made a surprise appearance at Drake's Summer 16 concert in Greensboro, North Carolina. But here's the catch, he decided to chill in the back instead of chilling in the VIP section. Although Diddy looked like he was having a good time, there aren't any photos of him with Drake during the show. Some folks saw this as a sign that everything was cool between them, but it's tough to say for sure. Now, skip ahead a few days, and something unexpected goes down at the 2016 VNAs. Diddy steps up to present the award for Best Hip Hop Video, but when Drake is announced as the winner for the track Hotline Bling and doesn't show up, Diddy grabs it for him. He says Drake's stuck in traffic and invites him to swing by and grab the Moonman from his place. Twitter immediately goes into overdrive, dredging up the past between Drake and Diddy, and the jokes start flying. Someone said, Diddy definitely almost slipped up and let his true thoughts slip out just now. And another user added, come get this, sure you know what Puff really wanted to say. Despite the confusion over the VMA incident and those lingering questions about the 4 p.m. in Calabasas lyrics, reports start circulating that Drake and Diddy have actually been tight for quite some time. Drake even hooked Diddy up with tickets to the Summer 16 tour, and at this point, it seemed like the drama was finally over. Well, maybe it was over for a minute, but here comes Drake's self-proclaimed hater Kendrick Lamar with some juicy gossip, and suddenly, Diddy and Drake's drama is making headlines again. So in his brutal new diss track directed at Drake, 
Euphoria. There's this line that references Diddy slapping Drake back in 2014. Kendrick Bops, you gonna make an end slash bring back Puff? Let me see if Chubbs really crashing something. By the way, Chubbs is Diddy's longtime bodyguard and friend, and Drake often brags in songs about how Chubbs will do it for him. But now Kendrick's throwing shade. Wondering if all that tough talk about Chubbs was just for show because Drake and his crew apparently did nothing when Diddy slapped Drake in a packed club. But Kendrick wasn't done yet. There's also this line where Kendrick insinuates that Drake's real competition is women because he bats for the other team. Kendrick raps, when I see you stand by sexy red, I believe you slash see two bad beds, I believe you don't like women slash it's real competition, you might pop out with them. Now, there's some wild speculation swirling around about these lines, and some people are going out on a limb and suggesting that Kendrick's decision to bring up Diddy's slap right after hinting that Drake might be in a guise is no coincidence. They're theorizing that Drake, Diddy, and Meek might have had more than just a friendship back in the day. One fan said, I believe the reason Drake got slapped by Diddy was because the song Drake did, 0 to 100, was about Meek Mill, which was Diddy's little boy toy at the time. And another one added, sounds like a lover's quarrel to me. We already know how the champagne pappy gets down, allegedly. But what's your take on this whole mess surrounding Drake and Kendrick's new diss track? And what do you think Diddy slapping Drake was really about? Let me know in the comments and then check out this next video.